Hello again, and welcome back to Operations Management. Now we're looking at the capacity analysis problem, and we're going to continue with it. As you recall, the problem was this. We had the LRDR Laundry Company that provides commercial laundry service to businesses whose employees wear uniforms. Approximately 10% of all loads are considered heavy loads. The rest are considered normal. A normal load takes 30 minutes in the washer, 50 in the dryer. A heavy load takes 45 in the washer and 90 in the dryer. They have two washers and four dryers. And those washers and dryers can run 22 hours a day, seven days a week. The question was, can they meet their weekly demand of 500 loads? Well, we discovered in the last one that no, they couldn't. But what was causing that? Why couldn't they meet all 500 loads? The big question is, is what is the bottleneck? Is it the washer? Is it the dryer? Why can't they meet that 500 loads? So let's take a look at what we had. Doing all of our calculations, we determined that the washer resource pool with its just two washers in it could manage to make 586.7 loads of laundry a week. So that was not the problem because you could get more than the 500 there. But for the dryer, even with four dryers, we can only manage to get 429.8 loads per week. There's our bottleneck. We cannot make the minimum 500 loads per week with only four dryers. So the question becomes, now that we know we can't meet the capacity that we need, how many dryers do we need to have? Let's take a look. For this, what we need to do is again, go back and figure out how many minutes we need per load, washer and dryer. So again, we're doing that weighted average for the heavy load and the normal load. And just as we did in the last session, we calculated that a washer takes 31.5 minutes per load and a dryer 86. So that's how long it takes to do a load of wash. So let's figure out how much time is needed in terms of 500 loads per week. We actually need 15,750 minutes to do 500 loads for the washer and 43,000 minutes for the dryer to do 500 loads. So our time needed is our unit load times those 500 loads. So again, we're going to take a look at the available time per resource per week. And that was 9,240 minutes. That was calculated by doing 22 hours a day, 60 minutes per hour, seven days a week. So there we go, 9,240 minutes. So we need 15,750 minutes in washers. Each washer can do 9,240. So we can now calculate how many washers we need. And we do the same thing with dryers. Here it is. In terms of washers, we need 1.7 washers in order to meet the load of 500 units. For dryers, we need 4.65. So the number of units needed is the time needed divided by our time available per load. So of course we would have to round up because we can't have a half a washer or a portion of a dryer. So in order to meet our 500 loads per week, we would need a total of two washers, which is what we had, but now we need five dryers and we only had four. In our next class, we're gonna talk about profitability. And profitability, when dealing with capacity, is not just how much money you can make per unit, but also it involves how many units you can make. I'll see you then.